Welcome back, everyone. This is now the one-month update of our ongoing 25-way graphene coatings and sealants product longevity test. I usually do one-week update intervals for new tests like this until the one-month mark, but it has been raining non-stop here for almost two weeks, and fortunately, I got a break in the weather to do my monthly updates today, so we skipped over the three-week update. I've also been busy with my cordless polishers comparison test. If you haven't seen those series of videos yet, go check those out. As I said, we have a lot of we've had a lot of rain in the last month, along with pretty average temperatures for the month as we get ever closer to summer here in Texas. The last 30 days, as well as the lifetime weather that this hood has seen so far, which should be the same, is on your screen right now. We'll foam this hood down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam, as you see right here. We'll rinse it, foam it again, wash it, rinse, and then of course dry it off after we're done. We'll check the hydrophobics, see how things are holding up, but as usual, check the links in the description of the video as to where you can buy these products as it does help the channel out. I also have an awesome spreadsheet with all the info on all these products in the video description. If you'd like to support the channel, that information is on your screen right here. If you're new to the channel, not familiar with these tests, I've been doing tests like these for the last six years now. This hood sits outside of our shop here in East Texas, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, exposed to the elements. It's rotated 90 degrees after each time we wash it and we will wash and inspect it on a weekly basis here for the first month and then on a monthly basis after that until the last one fails. I do have other tests with different products always running right now alongside this one, so please go check those out. As I said earlier, I don't do paid reviews for companies, and believe me, they've tried, because I want to know the real truth of the best detailing products out there for you, for me, and for our clients. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. Drive Auto Nano. Looks like it's still doing good. Four two ten h graphene spray. We're going to call that one weak. It's almost failed. 303 graphene, new and old. The old batch being the one that had formerly failed on me. The new batch being sent to me by 303. They're both doing okay on the weak side, so we're going to go ahead and mark those two weak as well. You can see water sticking to those pretty good, but it does finally let go. Graphene pre-production sample A, doing great. Glosset graphene, also doing great. Pre-production sample B, it is sticking pretty good. There's a there's a one on the left and one on the right. The top part looks like it's failing. IGL Easy graphene, looking okay. Four two ten H graphene. Looking very hydrophobic. That's one that's on uh, that's a coating that's on the inexpensive side as well. Ilho 12 H graphene. That's our one to two dollar Chinese coating failing. Drive Auto graphene. Also compared to Drive Auto Nano, which is their non graphene product, you can see there's quite a difference there. So the graphene product is weak. Eat those resist graphene spray. Looking good. Adams 9H graphene spray, also looking very good. Extreme Solutions graphene spray, looking okay. It's a little on the weak side, but not quite enough to call it weak just yet. Glass Parency graphene spray, doing all right. IGL Kinzo standard non-graphene, very hydrophobic and Kenzo Graphene, also quite hydrophobic. Glass Parency Graphene Coating, not quite as hydrophobic as Kenzo, but still all right. Extreme Solutions Graphene, doing okay. And Adams 10H looking very hydrophobic, especially compared to Extreme Solutions there. Ethos. Looking all right, very, very hydrophobic. And Turtle Wax from the YouTube promo kit that they sent all the YouTubers and the one that I purchased myself. I'm glad to see they're behaving the same, so it makes me, they're, they're both pretty weak, so we're gonna mark them weak, but I'm glad to see that they're behaving the same, so they didn't do anything funny to the one that they sent out to everybody to put on YouTube. 
SPS Graphene, extremely hydrophobic. Turtle Wax Graphene Max Wax and Flex Wax. The Max Wax doesn't look as hydrophobic as the Flex Wax. I'm, it's not quite to the point where we're gonna call it weak, but it's getting pretty close. We'll leave it alone for now. Turtle Wax Graphene Flex Wax, doing good. So what do you guys think this month? This is only 30 days in and we've already got several failures. Are there any surprises? Do you guys have any that you're rooting for? I think that there's some that stand out that are exceptionally hydrophobic. For example, like the Atoms, even the Atoms Graphene Spray, you can see it right there. It's, it's uh, exceptionally hydrophobic. Any other ones that you see like that, let me know. I just want to take a moment to remind you, if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. Smash that like button and, of course, comment down below. It does help others get to see these videos by doing that. We're nearing the 25,000 subscriber mark and growing quickly. I want to thank you guys again for the continued support. Be sure to like and share these videos to show your support for channels like this. Hi, if you're new to this channel, my dad is Scott and I am named Cecile and I am his daughter and his channel is called Scott HD and they're really good because he talks about cars and how to do stuff and to paint cars. So I think, so I think you can like all of his videos and subscribe and hit that bell and smash that like button.